Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you today our topic is about six facts about Islam and the reason I called my video such a name because I saw a video made by a female group you know feminine group uh, which speak about uh, gender equality and this kind of stuff and as usual <clears throat> all those videos made by liberals are nothing but the hypocrisy and deception and I don't know even how those people they do that you see, when we speak about, when we say the word facts, are we talking about somebody said something or something somebody can prove it? When we say facts, are we going to prove our facts because Obama, he said so, or George Bush, he said so, or because even Christian Prince, he said so, or because Muhammad said so, Quran said so. So, those people who speak uh, day and night, they want to talk about science. And they don't want to accept uh, religion. Suddenly, suddenly, those liberals who hate religion, suddenly they are defending Islam. And this is really something I cannot understand. What is this Islam like obsession with those liberals? And why it's making them I mean, what what is pushing them to defend Islam Islam always discriminate women Islam always put women down Islam disrespect women Islam have no right for women I mean when the Muslim they say to you if you watch the video <coughs> the video here in the front of me made by uh, teen voyage what, what they call it uh, Vogu, whatever you call it Ask Muslim girl six facts about Islam. No one ever told you not a single fact and the facts are true The funny one of the facts they said that Islam is the one that Islam is the one who created al Jabra too And by the way, this is a big fat lie <clears throat> Jabir bin Hayyan the very famous name which nobody is sure even if he exists or not uh According to Islamic books, he was a Sabian and he is not a Muslim. And in case you do not know what Sabian, <clears throat> go and check the Yazidi and what the ISIS did to them. The Yazidi are, let us say, kind of section of the Sabian. So they lie about everything in those facts, and none of those facts is a fact. And this is supposedly uh, a channel who try to promote gender equality. I post for them there. Jabber, he is a Sabian, not a Muslim, which is called Yazidi and stuff fast news. This is how your prophet spoke about his wives because they say that Khadija, she broke the ceiling of rights. Khadija, Khadija, she was a wife of Muhammad before Islam. And she was the boss of Muhammad before Islam. And Islam after made women are nothing but women have to be jailed in their rooms So before Islam Khadija was a businesswoman after Islam who is Khadija? Muhammad he said the women the advances are retire in the shape of the devil So one of you see his uh, a woman he should come to his wife So in either way women always is a devil Women are pure evil according to Islam. But yet this is a channel trying to promote Islam for us and try to present Islam as a good religion. When you somebody want to give me facts about Islam, you better give me facts from Islam. Not from a girl wearing 7 kilograms of makeup, have 10 kilograms of fake eyelashes, and, and wearing hijab, and by the way, this is not Islamic because the prophet of Islam, he said, if a woman, she put a perfume, just she put a perfume for anyone except her husband, she is a whore. So the one who is promoting Islam for us, they are not Islamic. <laughs> if you're a prophet, say it. <clears throat> That a woman she cannot show her face, she cannot put uh, makeup, she cannot put perfume, 
and if she do so she is a whore I'm not the one who said that <clears throat> Look what Muhammad he said about women. Oh, hold on. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is what Muhammad he say about women. In different hadith Muhammad he made it more clear that a woman she wear perfume and she walk in the street she is literally a whore. Do you see it <clears throat> so when somebody speak about facts show me your facts this is what it's called facts not what you say to us it is a fact that Islam says that the man he can beat his wife that is a fact not what you claim not what you say not what you promote show me your facts where we can find your facts look like your facts is nothing but a propaganda false propaganda and you cannot prove any of them <clears throat> this is how the Quran view the women that they are a bunch of goats and the man is the shepherd and anytime he feel the goat need some beating the shepherd can he beat her let us see men are in charge of women because Allah has made the one of them excel the others this is a feminine YouTube channel promoting Islam and say that those facts you have six facts for you you do not know about Islam but none of the facts they speak of is absolutely nothing but a lie. Men are in charge of women because Allah, he excel one on the other. So this is a destiny. You cannot change it. That's it. The man, he is in charge of you. Okay. And here, by the way, the man is not necessarily a husband. The man here is not necessarily a husband. You see, in the Christianity, <clears throat> a woman when she go in agreement of marriage, she agree to obey her husband. But this is this is a volunteer agreement. Don't marry him. Don't agree. Here, you marry, you don't marry. Who care? The man is in charge of the women, and this man can be your husband, can be your brother, can be your father, can be any male in the family. Any male who have a connection with you, he is in charge of you. What is the reason? What is the logic? Because Allah, he made one of them excel the other. How? Because they spend of their property on the women. So because you are treated like a property who he spent money in his property, so you are owned by him. Not because he loves you, not because he cares for you. You see the logic? Even the logic is about owning you. This guy, he spent money on you. It's the same when you buy a goat. Why the goat is yours? Because you bought the goat. When you buy a cow, why you are the one who is in charge of this cow? Because you bought the cow. So now the Quran is giving us a clear explanation why the man is in charge of the women because we spend money on them. 
well if you go and get a whore prostitute and you spend money on her eh, that make you in charge so good women look now the Quran jumped to a good woman who is the good woman in Islam are the obedient so if you are a woman who disobey your husband who is a scumbag maybe you are not a good woman guarding in secret that which Allah has guarded you will notice here that Islam does not ask the Muslims to guard what Allah asked them to guard supposedly only women they have to guard that which is their vagina a Muslim man he can go sleep around he can do muta he can do temporary marriage he can sleep with the slave he can he can do whatever he wants but the woman she cannot do that so the woman she is required to be obedient she is required to guard her vagina she is required to sleep only with one man but the man the Muslim man he not he do not need to 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 to, uh, to be decent he can sleep around like Muhammad he have 13 wives yet he asked the Muslim any woman she want to sleep with him in the top of that he have many sex slaves to sleep with Then the Quran continue as for those whom you fear rebellion okay you fear what does that mean eh, like you know your wife you say to her make me some tea and the wife she said okay you know she give you a tone you don't like okay you fear rebellion they are not rebellion yet admonish them shout at them you stupid idiot I am your husband you have to obey me you have to make tea for me. You are stupid. You are nothing. You are garbage. Admonish them. And then, if you want, jail them in their rooms. You see, the translation here is not really true. It says here, وَهْجُرُوهُنَّ فِي الْمَضَاجَعِ Jail them in their rooms. Keep them in their rooms. Jail sentence. Remember the Muslim man, he had many wives. So when he give up in one of them as a punishment, he will not be affected. Instead, he had many wives to sleep with, including his sex slaves. And then the solution did not stop here and discourage them. And discourage them. Somebody saying in the chat they are treated like dogs my friend in America if you beat a dog you go to jail I remember once I was living in an apartment and the dog he slept in the front of my door I have a screen door in front of my um, in, the, in the front of the door of the apartment So in order to get out to go to work, I have to push the dog away the dog he wouldn't move His majesty is sitting there. He didn't want to move And I cannot Cook him. You know, he, he's enjoying my front, uh, you know, the front of my door. So I have to call the police. The police, they came and they treat his majesty kindly. So may his majesty move. In Islam, if your wife, she is sleeping in the front of your door and she is being rebellion, what do you do? You kick her. You scourge her. Do you notice how many facts we discover in just in one one lines in in the Quran about women? Where those facts in this video, the feminine they did make about Islam? Why you are deceiving your women? Why you are deceiving yourself? Why you are deceiving the world? Women in Islam, she is not equal inheritance. Women in Islam, she is not allowed to be a witness in the court. The only time she can be a witness in the case of borrowing money. In case you do not know, if there is one billion Muslim women, they witness a crime, their witnesses is not accepted. Women, they cannot be accepted in the court to, for anything have to do with capital punishment like death crime murder theft women they are accepted to be witness in certain cases 
as an exception giving birth because women she will be in the room with the women alone and men are not allowed so the other women she can witness that I was there that's it and Muhammad he made it clear why women they cannot be witnesses Islam teach that women they have half a brain look like Margaret Thatcher was a half a brain woman interesting If we go here, you will see the following. Muhammad is explaining to us what is women are about. Somebody wanna call he's a Muslim? Okay, hold on, let me open my Skype. <coughs> Hey guys, invite your friends. I know it's still early for many people still at work in USA. Uh, and today, yesterday, I made in the last 24 hours, I made more than 10 hours broadcast. So now we are going to complete maybe 15. Let us see. Uh, actually, I'm trying not to stay long. But whatever the Lord he wants us to do, we will do. All right, my Skype is on for the one who would like to call. We continue. How Muhammad present the women for us? <coughs> Don't call me, please, unless you are a Muslim. If you are a Christian and you call me, I will hang up on you. Only if you are a Muslim or a Muslim who want to leave Islam, you can call me. Or an ex-Muslim. Anyone else? I will not take your call. All right. Uh, I don't want to change the topic, but somebody is asking me a question. Why somebody, a lady, she said to her brother or something, if, if God is true, why why people suffer in this earth? Why not? Why not? Well, like you, you see, people, they have their, their own like uh, presentation to God because we have God. This means we have to live in heaven, but we are not in heaven. So use your brain for a second. Is it is it God who discriminate you? Is it God who kill you? Is it God who rape you? Is it God who, who who attack you? Is it God who beat you? It's your husband, or it's maybe a thief, or it maybe it's a criminal, or maybe it's your neighbor, or maybe it's your boss at work. What God have to do with this? People are being injustice, and people suffer. You claim you you blame God for that? Where is your intellect and what is your intelligence? If somebody right now shot me dead, I will blame God. Or the one who shot me <laughs> you know people they have a, a, a they think God is like a pepperoni it's like a nipple and we whenever we won't have milk we have milk his mommy God created us he gave us heaven we rejected heaven so we are out of heaven. we are now in earth and earth is mean it's mean that me and you we live in it and there's bad and there is good if somebody is bad because he is bad, not because God made him bad. So don't blame God for what is bad around you. That is very naive of you to say. And by the way, people, they remember God only when something happened to them. Yes, Mr. Isa. Hello. Yes. Somebody there? Yes, yeah, somebody there. Christian Prince. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Can you hear me? I hear you, my friend. I hear you. Yes, go ahead. Wait. <clears throat> Christian Prince, can you say something? I hear you, my friend. I hear okay, you. Go okay, ahead. okay, okay, okay. Just okay, to mute you too, please. You know, I you know, I, I have two phones and 
I have one, you know, on Skype. Mm -hmm. And okay, okay, wait. Just hold on, please. We all we all have patience, okay? No problem. I have a lot of patience. Okay, is this live? Can you hear me? Yes, we are live, not dead yet. Go, go ahead. Can you say something? I am talking, my friend. Okay, look like your Skype is not working. Please fix your Skype and call me back. Hello? Okay. Yeah, call me back, call me back. I'm not going to spend the day saying hello, how are you? Do you hear me? Hello, can you hear me, Christian Prince? Yes, I do. Do you hear me now? This is me, Isa. Okay, Isa, you hear me? I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Please do something. I cannot hear you. Okay, let us see. All I, all I hear is like a shh. All right. Let us see why you cannot hear me. It doesn't make sense. Um, let us make an audio test. <clears throat> audio test hello welcome to skype call testing service hello after hello. the beep please record a message afterwards your message will be played back to you all right his name is isa and he cannot hear me what happened Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. I keep calling Allah and he never answer. What is the problem? If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. Mm. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, then something is wrong with your audio recording settings. Uh, okay. Please check your microphone and microphone settings or right. visit Skype.com for more help. Thank you for using the Skype code. All right, all right. Let's see. Look like we have a problem here. Okay, the automatically microphone. Let us see. We will use this one. Okay, let us see it again. <clears throat> Maybe this time is going to work. Yeah, I think now it's working. Let us call Mr. Raisa again. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Aisa, I hear you. Do you hear me now? Yes. All right. What do you want to say okay. to us, Mr. Aisa? Okay, Christian Prince. So, my name is Isa. All right. And I'm 26 years old. All right. And so, I I am I am a, a believer since 10 years, okay? So, I I have started with the Bible and then su uh, suddenly, you know, I kept searching All right. until I found Islam. And you know, I learned the, the language. I you know, I I, I learned to, to 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 speak Arabic, to read Arabic, all right, and even Hebrew. Okay, and you know, I I watched almost all your videos, man. And you know, it you know, it kept you know, it felt good to when you see the videos of you. You know, you keep uh, exposing Islam, but isn't it funny that now now I want to go back to it to Islam? Even I saw all your videos. Hmm, that's interesting. Why you want to go back to Islam? Tell me. Yes. So, do you think that we are se uh, separated from one another? That even if 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 God made you be born like in in Asia and me in uh, Europe, we are two uh, two different people. Do you think we are separated or we are not separated? Uh, what do you mean separated? What does that mean? I mean, as a Christian, hmm. you but first you of all, first of all, you are the Christian. I don't think okay. so. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. As a, but you know, as as the Christians believe, hmm. you are you are connected with God with this with, with the spirit, not with the flesh. Okay. Hmm. So in the in the spirit, we are we are might connected, hmm. but as a flesh, we are not. Hmm. So and? if you are co connected with with God with, hmm. with the spirit of God, hmm. why are you connected with Jesus Himself, who, who is the flesh of God? Do you need to be connected to 
God or the Spirit of God or the flesh of God? Mm. We well, see, obviously, you've never been Christian. You do not know what Christianity is no, about. No, I know. That, okay, hold on, no. hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. I know. You see, you know, see, you see. Hold on. Let me to answer you. Uh, do you want me to answer okay. you, or you don't yes, want me please. to answer? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, in Christianity, we don't believe that you know man became a god and we are connected to the man. Okay. God is always exist, and his existence mm -hmm. have nothing to do with the birth of Jesus, which means. Jesus said before Abraham, I am. Yes. So he was exist before Abraham. Yes. That's and what in said. the time of Abraham and after the time of Abraham. How he was exist, not as a man. Not so as a man. We are not connected with God, and our God is a spirit, not like your God mm. in Islam. The God of Islam is not a spirit. And you are the one who mentioned that we can be connected with God by spirit, correct? Yes. That's, so how that's you can be connected as a Muslim now with God who is not even a spirit? You know you are you are you are connected with with the servants when when you are praying. You know you know I you know I'm kind of. You see no 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 don't change the topic don't change the topic. You are the one who came to me with the idea yes. that okay, we are connected okay. with God. You are the one who said mm -hmm. to me we can be mm -hmm. connected with God by spirit. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Your God is not a spirit. So how you can be connected to your how? God who is not a spirit? And you are yes. the one who use the title that we can be connected. You. No, hold on. You said, you, you said, you said, you said, you said, concentrate with me because Muslims mm -hmm. usually they jump into answer without understanding the question. I want you to I know focus with I know what you mean. I saw you are you saying mean. we are connected to God mm -hmm. by his spirit, but your yes. God Allah is not a spirit. Mm -hmm. So how you can be connected to Allah how? who yes. is not you a know. spirit and you are the Let one who, who with a condition of a spirit. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It is what Allah or God is trying to tell us what we are should do as a human being mm -hmm. you know you know, there's always a law for 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 anything mm -hmm. everything ha has a law behind it and and mm -hmm. even there are law, law, laws for human beings you know mm -hmm. and and when, and when we uh, <laughs> keep in that laws we shall be connected with god but you see, a second ago, you said to me, we are connected with God by spirit, for God is a this spirit. Is what, this is what the Christians No, no, no. In. Okay, okay, no, oh, no, yes. no, no. It's okay. So you as a Muslim, you are connected to God what, by what? By service? Of course. And by love and by okay. fear. What, what and, is your, and what is your reference? What is your reference? Show me the reference, please. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> when we speak about something, we say reference. Show me where the reference <laughs> says you are connected with Allah by service. Show me that. I want to learn from you. Oh, this is so obviously, man. This is so. Obviously. Oh no, it's not obvious for me. You are so smart, super smart. I am not like you. So please, I want you to teach me. I want to learn something from you because you are the one who is going to give us the guidance. You are the Muslim who knows Islam. I, obviously, I do not know Islam yet. I want to learn from you. Okay, show me your reference. This is the okay. This is the uh, Surah ninety six, the first uh, Ikra Ikra Aladim. You know the first. The first verse. You see, my the friend. You surah. said. You said. You, you, the, the first surah, uh -huh. uh, ninety-six. Mm -hmm. Bow down and and and, and pray to God. Where, where it says bow down? I want you, you said you learn Arabic, right? Where it says bow down? Just a little bit. Be a servant. Okay. So you do not know Arabic and don't. So don't Wait. cry. Okay, now. Okay. Read for just, me the verse and I will tell me how this me. verse. How this verse, okay, how okay. this verse is, is connecting you to God, my friend. Re okay, read okay. for me the verse, what it says. Wait. Just be patient, okay? Just mm. just speak to me like a, like a man. You know, we all have patience. You see, I'm, I'm not, faith, guys, you know? did, did I insult him? Did I say anything? So, he, no. so he is, he's getting nervous. He's getting he upset. Not. Okay, so take it, take it easy yourself. Don't be nervous. Mm -hmm, breathe, mm -hmm. breathe. Uh, eat some chocolate, okay? Now, show me where okay. this verse you chose for me. <laughs> The verse you chose for me, Your Majesty, mm -hmm. where that yeah. is teaching you to bow down to Allah, as you mentioned there are even to me, two verses. because it doesn't say that. Where is bow down to Allah? Where is the word bow down? Okay, wait. Where is the word bow down? And what to Just do? What wait. what has to do with with connection Allah. with Allah? <laughs> so. <coughs> Ah, indeed, his love is um, a servant when he prays. Mm. He's upon the guidance of the righteousness. Um, Look like you are reading this chapter for the first time. No, you know. Because I, you are looking for I, an I, answer. I'm asking you, no. where you choose this verse for me, this chapter for me, for what reason? Kalla. What? Let to be. Let to be. 
You said to me you learn what, Arabic and you learn Hebrew. Sujud. What is what is in in Arabia sujud? What is su say it? Bow down. Right? Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Say it. Abdul. Say it. What is sujud? Kalla la la ta la to. Okay, mm. maybe you you are you are, you you speak better Arabic than me, but mm. I know the word sujud. Mm. This means something. Yeah, Tell this, me. This is in the last in the last verse. What is that? What does that mean? Yeah, bow down and be near to to uh, to your up to your up. Mm. Okay, so mm. and okay. Surah Bakara, Surah mm. Bakara. This is a book about which let us let's, no let's, doubt let's, let's finish this one first. Let us, finish. let us finish this one first because you choose okay. for me a verse will prove okay. Islam okay. to be a false religion. How Allah He said to Muhammad <laughs> read. How Allah He mm. said to Muhammad read. But yet Muslims, you know, you believe that Muhammad cannot read. Explain. It's all explained by itself. You know, there was something who, who grabbed them. You know, there's there's there are something uh, some explanations. What is it? Give me an explanation. I'm asking you how Don't Allah, how Allah he said to Muhammad, man. hold on, my friend. You, I'm, I'm, you see, guys, like you see, you see, in, a, in a, sec, a second ago, he chose this verse. He is the one who chose it. I'm asking you a very simple question. The first okay. verse there says, Read how Allah he said to Muhammad, Read if Muhammad do not know, read. There's mm -hmm. one of two solutions either Allah is ignorant, you do not know Muhammad, you do not know how to read, or Allah trying to make a miracle. Both of them did not work. Allah he said to Muhammad, Three times, read, still Muhammad mm -hmm. cannot read. Mm -hmm. So, why Allah, mm -hmm. I'm asking you, why Allah said to Muhammad, Read when Muhammad read. cannot read? When he could not read, you know, there's a there's a funny kind of similarity in the in the Bible in the book mm. of Isaiah mm -hmm. where it says this will be like a book whom whom you shall give and say read, but he said I I cannot read. Yeah, but this you is about the verse? hypocrite. But this is about it's, the hypocrites. How do you know this? this, is, this it is says there. It says hypocrite. it says they, they are saying it's sealed for us. We cannot understand that they are hypocrites. Go and read yes. the Bible. It says they are, It says that this, this is about the hypocrites. So are you saying your mm. prophet is a hypocrite man? No. So why you choose that verse in the Bible to compare it to Muhammad's story here? Obviously, you are saying that. Now, secondly, answer me how Allah, mm. he said to Muhammad, read, but yet Muhammad cannot read. So this is a miracle, you know. It's a miracle. Here we go. I'm going yeah. to say, I'm going to say to the donkey, sing, and the donkey cannot sing. This is a miracle. Amazing. How is that is a miracle? This is not possible. How is it? How is it a miracle that to say to a man, read, and the man, he cannot mm. read, and still he cannot read, and he die, he cannot read. What is the miracle there? You know, Christian friend, this is so funny because there are so many verses and so many, so so many different things that you can take and and then just throw it to me and say, oh. You see, I'm not the one who throw it at you. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. You so are the one. Everybody is my friends. witness. You are the one who chose this verse for me, not yes, me. Yes. So of you course. are the one who pick up this verse. You are the one who you, throw it at me, and now you cannot take it back. You cannot take it. It was your choice. And is now there, I am asking you a verse? very simple is, question. Is a listen, listen. Isn't it obvious that you cannot explain a verse? The first verse in the Quran is a mistake. Obviously, it's a mistake. Because if Allah is all-knowing, if Allah is God, and he knew Muhammad, he cannot read. So how he said mm -hmm. to Muhammad, read when Muhammad cannot read? What's the point? Because he wanted him to read. He, so, he okay, here we go. Read. God, he wanted him to read. Was Muhammad yes. able to read after he said to him, read? He, he just heard. What do you mean yes. heard? He cannot read. Jesus, he said to the blind man, see, he saw. Okay. Jesus said to yeah. the man who cannot walk, walk, he mm. walk. Mm. Jesus, he said to the dead man, come from the grave, he come from the grave. Allah, mm. he said to Muhammad, read three times, and he squeezed him three times, and still Muhammad cannot read. Explain to me why. Okay. Maybe this is your point, but let me please say something to you, okay? My friend who's holding you, I want an answer. Don't jump. I want you to say to me, what kind of God? He don't know that he's a prophet. He do not know how to read because he is giving him the wrong order. When I say to you an order and you do not, you cannot accomplish it. Either I want to do a miracle through mm -hmm. you by making you like do something you cannot do before. Or I am an ignorant who do not know that you are a person who cannot read. Which one you choose? Maybe this should just go this way because if God gave the book who someone who can read, why, why even say read this? Because you already can read. I am the one asking you the question. Yeah, why, why are you asking yeah. the question? Why Allah He said to Muhammad, "Read when he cannot read." Answer me. This is for us, man. They, they what do you mean believe? for us? This is for Muhammad. Allah was speaking to a man, one man, not ten of you. Mm -hmm. This is the verse was given to Muhammad, and the angel was saying to him, "Read." And this is the post. The angel mm -hmm. is speaking what Allah told him to say. This, which means, this is not the word of the angel. So Allah He said to Muhammad, "Read it three times. Squeeze him three times." Muhammad is still cannot read. What the point of squeezing him three times, saying you to know, him, read it three times, and yet Muhammad is still, he cannot read. 
first of all i am not a scholar here we go I, a second ago okay. you called me and you said to me no, i no, am no. studying the bible for 10 years of i course, am a believer man. for 10 years i study hebrew and you arabic for 10 years now? and uh, yes i'm judging you because you lied to me you said to me you know islam and you are here going I to know islam you, know did you not know islam here we go a very simple question I, from the first I, verse you gave me you I, are the one who I, chose this verse for me I am not the one who pick up for you. You are the one who throw it at me. And the very the first the first word there exposed Islam to be false religion. Because if God he knew Which Muhammad word? cannot read the same the question, huh. why Allah said to Muhammad read if Muhammad cannot read? Hmm. This is a good question. Why do you ask me that, man? Did you decide to leave Islam now after this good question? And you notice that you have no idea what I'm talking about. I have another question for you. Maybe you can bring me back to So back are to you friends. saying to me, did you agree that this is a stupid or not? Not yet. Then you have to answer me. Don't jump it. You have no, to tell no. me why you, Allah you, He made such to, a stupid decision. Me also Christianity to make me believe the. the, the I don't the, want the you to believe in Christianity. Stay as a tell Muslim. Me. No, no. Kiss the black tell stone. Me, kiss the black Do stone. Lick now? the black stay stone. Listen, listen, listen. Are you, you, are, you see, you see. Look, Muslim. guys. Did you hear? Did, did you hear? Did you hear what he said? Did, did you hear? Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Did you did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? He said this to me, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on, shut up, hold on. Okay. You just okay. said to me, you want me to stay as a Muslim. But when you call me, you claim that you are a Christian. You said to me, you want me to stay as a Muslim now. But when you call this me in so the beginning, you, you said to me that you are a Christian who is thinking to join Islam. But now you are saying to me, do you want me to stay as a Muslim? Which means you are a, you are a political liar, like your you prophet. Said me. You, said to you me. are the one who just said stay to me in the beginning, Muslim. you are a Christian I, who is thinking to convert I, to Islam. You. And now you, you are saying to me, you want me to stay as a Muslim. You want me to go back to Christianity? I don't want you to I go am... back to Christianity. You never been a Christian. You are a liar, and you are a so big fat liar like your prophet. You now answer me. Why you your God? Why you are? Why you are trying to avoid the answer? Why your God? He said to him, "Read if he cannot read." Please let us speak as adult, mature, and if you don't have an answer, tell me. I do not know. Yes, I already told you. Why should I know, man? Why should I? Know? What do you mean you should know? So why you believe in something? You you, you know it's a stupid. Because by can saying, you, but by, by, by saying, is, by saying to is, me, by saying mm, to me, I do not mm, know. It's mean you are a stupid person who believe in something you do not really? know. Really? Yes. This because somebody, that, okay. because somebody, when he believe in something I you do not know, you. You, you just admit it that you believe in something you do not know. That's mean you are stupid. Do you, do you know how many witnesses there were when when the tomb of of Jesus were opened? Was by one angel, my or friend. By, my by, friend, by it, does, men, it doesn't no, matter. That was hold on, 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 hold on. Listen, 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 listen. Let how me ask you, let me ask you, how many witnesses? Hold on, just, just to show you how stupid please, you are. Please. How many witnesses they can witness from what Muhammad said in the Quran? Mm -hmm. Okay, how many witnesses they can witness about what Muhammad said about Jesus in the Quran? Is that true? It is zero, is it zero? For what Jesus did, yes. Who, how many witnesses? Muhammad he said something about Jesus as an example. Muhammad he said mm -hmm. that Jesus, yes. uh, Allah took him to heaven. Okay, uh, Jesus yes. he created how, from the from witnesses? the bird. The bird. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the witnesses for that? No witnesses. Okay, so you accept Muhammad okay. with no witnesses, correct? In in some opinions, yes. But how? What how do you mean? Some, what do you mean? Some the... witnesses? What do you mean? Some witnesses? Some opinion? Oh, yes. Either you accept Muhammad in without Bible, witnesses. You, listen, listen, you are trying to divert the topic because you are scared to death. Islam is a stupid religion and you oh. have to face it. L and now uh, let me ask you a question. What make mm -hmm. you believe in Islam to be a true religion if you cannot even explain to me the first verse in the Quran? It is because there is uh, one message that we should get out of it. It is La ilaha illallah. There is no God. But Allah, you know, Illa okay, let, means, means let, God. Let me show you Illa, how. Okay, here we go. You see, you jump to different you topic. Let me show you how stupid is that. There how, was a message. How, okay, let there me ask you how many creators in Islam there is? As long as there is no God but Allah, how many creators I, in Islam there is? Christian Prince, I saw all your videos, okay? I know there was, there's a story that that uh, Allah gave Jesus the power to. Not the question. I'm asking you something. how many creators you Muslims believe there is? <laughs> If I say Allah, then you say, oh, no, you say you are scared. You are Jesus. scared. How many creators in Islamic religion there is? Is it a true? Wahad, there is one creator wahad. or many creators? Wahad. Wahad. On one creator, right? You yes, do not even know how to say one. it is not Wahad. It's Wahad. Now, listen, it, it how, how, how Allah is the only creator in the Quran says in chapter 37, verse number 125, Allah is the best of the creators. Read it. Read it. Yes. Yeah, I read it. Read it for me. me. Okay. Hmm? 
-hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Will you will you cry into Baal and forsake the best of the creators? I don't know what you mean. I don't understand. The what do you mean? What do you mean? mean? This is your Quran. You are the Muslim, not me. I'm just a Christian prince. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm a person. Ask who... your question. I did not understand your question. The Please question is very simple. The alone. Quran. The Quran confirmed that there's many creators and Allah is the best. Is the best of the creators. Uh huh. So how he can be the only God if he is the best of gods? Because when you say there's he is the best of the creators, that means there's mm. other gods. What make God God? He can create. So if he is the best of the creators, that means you Muslims don't believe in one God. You believe in many gods, but Allah is the best between them. So look like there's Mercedes, there is a Ferrari, there's Lamborghini, and Allah is maybe Lamborghini for you. So explain to me, please. Go ahead. I have no answer for that. And you know, Here we go. He have no book, answer man. again. He have hey, no answer please. again. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Each time we go somewhere, you know, he have yeah. no answer. Okay. You know why? This is this is kind of funny, you know, because why? I know by myself that in Islam there are some kind of things, some verses that you cannot really explain. Uh -huh. what, Islam, what, what see, but, guys. But you know, what, what do you mean you cannot explain? Are you saying to me that your God Allah here is doing poo poo? He do not know how to speak Arabic. He he, he said something stupid. No, there was just a, just well, just, obviously, just, this is stupid. Just, you need no, to ask, you need to explain, explain to yourself. Don't Let explain to me, don't explain to me, explain to yourself. Source. You, as a Muslim, you, you, source. as a Muslim, how you explain, you so low, how you, you know, explain you such a, a human, stupid yeah. thing? Let me explain how you explain thing. such a stupid you, thing to yourself. You, as a human being, you are so low on earth that, that you have no straight connection to the most high. You have to, you know, you have to get a kind of code, kind of did way. you say the most high? Did you say the, the most, most high? high? Did you say to me the most high? How Allah became the most high? Explain to me. Go ahead. <laughs> what kind of question do you ask me? Well, you are the one who keep you see when you speak to a Christian prince, you, anything you, you anything me. you say to me is going to be used you against you. Me. When you say to so me, much, Allah man. is the most high, how he became the most high, high where? He is the most high. Well, okay, no problem. He's high where? What does high mean? High by hashish, high by drugs, high by level, high by what? Man, answer this to yourself, man. You, you are the know one who said me that to me. I mean, what's wrong with you? You are the one who said to me that Allah is the most high. High in what? Hashish? Okay. Okay, so let explain me, to me. Allah me, is the most mm. high. You are the one who came with this. You see, when you speak to me, anything you say is going to be used yes. against you. You, are, and you know you know. already you are speaking to, you, to Christian man, friends. To you. I am you, the Islamic Wikipedia. So me. now you say to me, Allah by is the most high. But, How but Allah, is it true? Allah, is it so true that Allah the most high, he will come every mm. day in the third part of the night? What? Is it true that Allah the most high? Is going to come every day in the third part of the night. He will take elevator and come down to earth. <laughs> Why do you say something like that? I don't know. Is it written like that? I don't know. So how how Allah will come down every night? Oh. Is it true that is it true <laughs> that Allah will come? Okay, read with me. Read with me the hadith. Read with me the hadith. Here we go. This is your most high. Your most high. He come down every night to the lowest heaven. Is that true? Yeah. Read for me. Why are you reading it for you? It's in front of your reader. Go ahead. Yeah, wait. Let me. Oh, Lord. Bless and for this end. Night to low heaven. When the third of the land of the night. Hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. You know what I think? Yeah. You know what? I, I'm really confused mm -hmm. about many many things but also in christianity you know don't I, change the topic i, I, I know I you really are confused i know you are Islam. getting busted i you know you are getting busted and you know you have no answer you know what I think? and now you, know you are I think? you see I have answer, you, you, you know what you please. think you know what i think i, I, I think i think no 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 you have no answer i think i think you are a balloon you are you are a balloon full of gas and this is how you're serious, man. Yes, I'm serious. Not, Otherwise, explain to me. You are the one who said to me, I'm, Allah is the most high. How the most high come down every night to the third part of the third part of the night in a certain time, and he come to the lowest heaven and what for? Yes. Because he want to hear you. For forgiveness. This is just 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 what I thought, man. To have a, you know the mercy, to have mercy on them. This is not the question. You see how slow you are, my friend. Forgive me to say that, because if Allah want to have mercy on you, do He have to come back, come down every night? 
What, what do you have to do in, in Christianity? Hold on, hold on, hold to, on. To have My God, he no. can hear this me. Is, Jesus is, said, Jesus said, hold on. Jesus said, you every two, of, every two okay, of you mention my name. Faithful. Listen, he said, okay. every two of you mention my name, I will be between them, which means I will yes. be the third. So he do not need to come down. Mm. He is between us already for he is the almighty God. Look at your God. Your God reception is limited. His at and phone, his mobile mm. phone, does not have reception in the seven heaven so he have to go down every night to the lowest heaven and he say who is calling me and yeah abdul is there i am here who supplicate for me and by the way this is not even the night to pray the time to pray so what kind mm -hmm. of god he cannot receive your prayer unless he go down and you are the one who said to me allah is the most high obviously is not mm -hmm. high no more and same time do you muslim believe that allah can be inside his creation Yes, he can be. It, this is what I believe, you know. But Allah, He can be inside His creation, so Allah can be inside the cat. I think that God can be everything. Man. So why you, why you refuse Jesus to be God because He is inside a, a shape of God because is He's in a, in a form of a man? Why you Let refuse? Let me tell you that? why. Mm. In the book of Revelation, mm. the, the last book of the Bible, there is a verse. Mm. This is the re revelation of John, mm. whom. Uh, Jesus sent and God gave the revelation to, to Je Jesus Christ. Mm. This, this, this re revelation is not coming straight from Jesus. But this is not what the Bible says. This is a lie. Because the revelation you are talking about, mm. even the Quran confirmed that Jesus himself is the word of God, which yes, became a man, know, which means, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, which means, according, hold on, because yes. according to the Quran, Please Jesus is me, the okay? walking, talking, Please living word me. of God. I am being mm. patient. I'm schooling you. So yeah, Jesus is the, this is why when Jesus in the Quran is born, right away, he spoke as a prophet. Is that correct? Who, Jesus? Yes. He was in yeah, the cradle. Is, he was in the cradle. He was in the Quran cradle. This, yes, this, this is, is what, what the Quran, Quran says. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. So do you agree with the Quran or not? <laughs> you know, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? So that, uh, 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 now you are the Muslim no more. Do you agree with the Quran that Jesus spoke in the cradle? Who knows? What Maybe do you mean? He's, don't a, know? he's a holy son. The book of the revelation from Jesus Christ. Which God <laughs> have, Listen, have, I'm have asking you why Jesus in Islam he spoke from the cradle. It took Muhammad 40 years, and then the angel he came and he squeezed him three times, saying to him, Read. And still, Muhammad the idiot, he have no idea what this guy he wants. But Jesus, he is first day, first second he's born, he speaks, and he is a prophet of God, he's speaking the word of God. How this happened? You know how you know mm. that you know you know what I think mm -hmm. if I if I say you an answer mm -hmm. and you prove me wrong you also want to prove Islam wrong and when I give you one answer that what Islam teaches me that, and you say oh this is what this is so stupid you man. never gave me any answer about Islam is, since since you call me until now each time I you, you give me something you say I do not know what answer you gave me you never give me any answer. Don't lie to yourself. What what answer you gave me? I asked you, you mentioned to me, Allah, he said, read. I said to you, why he said, read, you could not answer. I said to you, uh -huh. you said to me, Allah is the most high. I said, why Allah the most high? He come down every night. You could not answer. You, you, you said to me, I questions. said to you, who is the uh, is Allah the only creator? You said, yes. I said, so how the yeah. Quran says Allah is the best of the creators? You could answer. So why you are lying to me saying you gave me answer? Because all these questions. You see, we will that... start from zero. I'm going. I'm going to give you a chance to to survive again. But I will give you some some oxygen. I want you to tell me from zero. Mm. Forget about everything okay. we say. Choose for me. Choose for me the most powerful point you have for a Christian to make him believe in Islam. Go ahead. It's Jesus Christ. Choose for he, me. Choose he, for me. Choose for me. He's a point. he's with, he's with no sin. Okay, he came to earth with no sin. Who? But Jesus Christ. Did Muhammad but, okay? Did Muhammad come with sin? Of course. Okay. You know, I, so why you know, Jesus? How things. Jesus have no sin? But Muhammad, how things. Jesus have a sin? Have no sin? Did you just say that Jesus Let have no sin? Further. Okay, Let hold on, hold further. on. You said you just said in my heart, man. Before, heart, before, I'm, before, know, before, I'm, I'm before. Still a Christian, but you know, you know I don't want you to be. Don't tell me from, I'm still a Christian. You are not. Listen, you, listen, you listen, listen, to, listen, 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 listen. Goodbye, you just say this is, this is over now you don't want to be, yeah this is over i'm going to burn to I'm, I'm going to burn the lives of you 
I will burn the lies you out of you. You just said Goodbye, you admit Christian it. Friends. You, ad you, admit you it. don't want me to be a Christian. Okay, go get lost. I don't want you to be Christian for sure. I don't want you to be Christian because to be a Christian, you have to be decent. We don't accept hypocrite liars and the scam. You just admitted that Jesus have no sin. That's mean you admitted that Jesus must be divine God. For every son of an Adam is a sinner, and even your prophet Muhammad, he confessed that. Every son of an Adam. And this is why Jesus is not the son of an Adam. Now, do you know why Jesus is not born? Don't call me, Isa. Don't call me. You are just an, a, a kid. I want I want somebody smart to talk to me. Go. Don't call me. Every son of an Adam is a sinner in Islam. Except Jesus. Because he is not the son of an Adam. Not you, Isa. Too. You have two Isa. We have two stupid Isa. I don't want. Look like the ones who their names is Isa are stupid by birth. I don't want kids. When you speak to me, you have to be careful. You are talking to Christian Prince. You do not know what does that mean. I will teach you. You have the most stupid religion, and yet you claim that you know. And the second we ask you a question, oh, I study Hebrew. Yes, uh, like Muhammad Hijab, Elijah mean God is with us. Allah, he pray for, he don't pray to. Every son of an Adam is a sinner. But Jesus is not the son of an Adam. Do you now learn, Muslims, why Jesus have no father? Because every son of an Adam is a sinner. And you just admitted that Jesus has no sin which means he is pure divine for only god have no sin muhammad have a sin everybody have a sin i have a sin you have a sin but jesus does not and yet you say to me you are a muslim you have to be mentally ill to go against your own ideas you say to me jesus is not a sinner muhammad is a sinner everybody is a sinner of course, Muhammad is a sinner, but Jesus is not a sinner. So why you follow Muhammad anyway? Let us say for the sake of argument, Jesus is not, not even uh, God, not divine. If we have someone who never commits sin and we have somebody who is full of sin, which one we should follow? Stupidity is amazing. I will give this guy, Isa, one more chance to call me. Maybe he can retain his honor because I believe now he feel like he is shattered. Uh, he's uh, like, uh oh, I came to get Christian Prince busted and he left me pieces. And I cannot find my pieces around. This is what they do, Christian Prince. Hmm. I call you after watching all your video. I feel now I want to go back to Islam. And then he says to me, don't you want me to become a Christian? You want me to stay as a Muslim? You can't even maintain your own lies. And then he 
say to me? Yes, Aisa, hey, what do hey, you want to say to me? What do you want to yes. say? Yes, okay. Let me let me please say one thing. Hmm. Believe me when I say, I did read the Bible when I was 16 years old. Hmm. I learned it. And and when I believe in it, when I have su su such a strong belief in hmm. Christianity, hmm. it, it d doesn't matter if one gospel contradicts contradict the other one mm. i believe it no there's because no contradiction first of all this is not true there's no contradiction there you is no there's no contradiction no no you see i'm not going to waste my time there's tons of no, articles no, no, no. answering every question about there what people also, they call contradiction there, secondly maybe there, sec maybe there are also sec contradictions in, in the in the in the quran no don't matter though this is not this is not the topic but, you see you are changing the topic now you no, see please. when somebody when what somebody says contradiction you don't even know what contradiction is about you don't know, even don't. know what contradictions about. You see, we have answers for all what you call contradictions. We after the I, I have listen, listen, listen. We have a brother. Hold on, hold on. You see here, Matthew I have I have a special case. Hold on. Read it for me. Hold on. Read it for me. I, no, no, no. Don't waste, don't, waste don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. I we, want to take we, your time to to make me a Christian. I don't want to make you a Christian. I want you to stay as a fool because if you came became really? a Christian, I will laugh at who. This is. But this is sad, you know. This is it is sad what he can do about it. I don't want you. I want you to stay as a Muslim. So now you call me. I want you to make me a Muslim. I want this, you to show me why you are a Muslim. Today, you are trying to avoid. You, you see, you ha, you have first of all, you are lying. First of all, you are lying that you want you to be a lying. Christian. Yes, you, you are lying. And, because and because you said in the say, beginning please, that you please, are. Please, uh, don't call me. Listen, You're listen, listen. I did not call you, man. Did, did you I'm call me? Old, did, did you I'm call me? You did you call me saying to me, I was a Christian. I'm thinking now to convert to Islam when you call me in the beginning? Yes. Okay. Then after 10 minutes, you said to me, why you don't want me to become a Christian and you want me to stay as a Muslim? So why how do you, you just say me to me to stay as a Muslim? Yes, so so why you said to me in the beginning you are thinking huh? to convert to Islam and then you say to me, Do you want me to stay as a Muslim? You said that you are the I one who said that you, it's recorded. Do you want me to uh, stay as a Christian and you said no I no want you, to you said to me do you want me to stay as a Muslim you always said to me you want me to stay as a Muslim I can reward the video and everybody will laugh at you okay don't worry maybe we can hit later but yeah don't worry be happy but, now let us go up to back to zero I will give you a chance yes. I want you to show me one proof that Islam mm. can be from God and Allah is God go ahead mm. show me a proof anything you want choose your choice Please mute okay. YouTube, mute YouTube so we do not hear our voice twice. Right. Go ahead. You want to give me you, you said I, I shall prove that Islam is the right religion. No, no, give me give me any any reason to make us believe as a Christians. You see, I'm I'm trying to give you a chance to mm. present your point. Choose mm. something very powerful, something you think no most no Christian can explain. It's so amazing. Something you think is the best way to to invite okay, us to Islam. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, <laughs> I can answer this with maybe this little tiny thing. You know, I I saw what one of your videos, mm. and 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 I don't know if it was from your videos, but you made an argument that you said when I have a black phone or a blue phone, and I will show you this blue phone, and I will ask all the all the people, do you believe this is a blue phone? They would say yes, and I say and 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 I have, and I have. If I ask the second question, do you know this is a bl blue phone? They would say yes. But there are a kind of difference between knowing and believing. You know, I told you when I was a Christian, I really believe. You see, my friend, they, first they, of all, they, this, this I don't know what truth. are you talking about? What the blue truth. phone? What the no, black no, no. phone? I never, I, ne I never use this. Sus, sus, no, no, no. Try I don't want to understand, understand you. Me. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. If you're not you see, to I have me. hundreds of people are listening. I want you to if explain you're not to, me. to understand me. You are the you're ignorant one. You are the ignorant who have no answer. Just shut up. Get lost. Either you show me any proof Islam is it true or shut up. Don't call me. I'm not here to hear your, your 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 drama. Blue phone and black phone. What is that? Me say the black phone, blue phone. I say to you, show me any proof that Islam is from God. And then what you start doing, like a lady in the delivery room, and the baby is not coming. And this is how you are. But the difference between you, between you and the women in the delivery room screaming that she have a real baby, but you, you have gas. 
The more you squeeze your belly, nothing come but gas. The same as when your prophet he died, and the Muslim did not bury him for three days. Gas was coming like crazy. So Ibn Abbas he said, bury your prophet for he stink. Don't call me to give me a speeches. Here we don't give a speeches. Proofs, reference, details. Anything else is a joke. You talk to Christian Prince, you give reference. The stupid chat you do, you do it with Muslims. You go to a Muslim channel, Assalamu Alaikum, Rabbi Wa Alaikum, Assalam. Brother, the Prophet, peace upon him, everybody says, Allah, the Prophet, he said that the best of you is the one who is good for his family. Mm. Uh huh. Was Muhammad the best for his family? Is it his family in the Quran? They have a strike against him because he was unjust. Was Muhammad the best of his family when his wives they ask him to be fair and treat them equal to Aisha? And then Muhammad he said, Don't hurt me in Aisha. I never received Quran except in the panty of Aisha. I can give you a lecture about being best to my family, but I can be the worst to my family. That's me. Muhammad is a hypocrite man. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam. Brother, do you know that the most popular name, brother, is the name of Muhammad? Because you are an idiot. I will never call my son Muhammad because that means that you are calling your son God. The name Muhammad means the praised one. If you Muslim believe in one God, how you accept even Muhammad to be called Muhammad? The second you call him Muhammad, you are calling him God. Because Muhammad means the praised one. If you Muslim follow a man, his name is the praised one. Who is your God then? Who is the praised two? Do we have any Muslim who have something to say? Be careful when you speak to Christian friends. You are no match, my friend. If I sneeze, I will make you fly. This is why your scholars, they avoid speaking to me. Hello? Hi, CP. You all right? Hey, my friend. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Um, I'm just watching your YouTube uh, video. Mm -hmm. You just said um, Muhammad received uh, message, um, revelations when um, Asha's panties. Like that. Can you show me that, please? What, Muhammad what? You said he received revelations of the Quran when uh, with Aisha's. All right, are you a Muslim, my friend? Um, born in the Muslim family, yes. Okay, so you're a Muslim, all right. I wouldn't really say that, but born in the Muslim family, I've been watching your videos, so yeah. just want to just more information for myself. That's all. All right. We go in the hadith and we'll find you the reference. No problem. <clears throat> All right. Um No, no, usually when you say something, you always back it up. And just sure, sure, sure. It's in the front of me, actually. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Okay, let's see. Uh, you speak Arabic, correct? No, no, no. no you don't? No. Okay, it says no. in your front of me. Yeah, look at the Aisha part, yeah. Hmm. So? No, I don't speak Arabic, sorry. Okay. So I didn't say I speak Let's see no. if the translation will come with the with the correct translation because most time they try to, to sometime to hide uh, all right 
Это... You see, in the whole translation, the thing does not even appear. Okay. Here we go. Read it, this one as an example. This one, I have reported, yeah? The one mm -hmm. prophet. Okay, he said, Fatim to the prophet. Fatim to the prophet. I had permission here. Was wearing wool dress, and uh, she came in. She said, "Your wife sent me to you know, ask you." Okay, wearing a wool. Oh, okay, he's wearing a wool dress. Hmm. He must be pretty with that dress. <laughs> wool dress in the in in the, in the Middle East. I mean, I don't. don't it's, you know, yeah. Anyway, uh, you see, this is the Muslim translation, and then it's not really uh, a murt is not necessarily a world dress, but it is a, a clo women clothing specifically, and mm. you know there's many references clearly that this is only women clothing. So why a prophet of God he wear women clothing? No idea. No idea. All right. Anything else, my friend? No, thank you very much, CP. I All appreciate right. that. Okay, thank I advise you. you to leave Islam, my friend. Islam is not good for you. You sound smarter than, you know, smarter to be a Muslim for a second. No, like I said, I was born in a Muslim family, and um, just uh, it's it's really scary. Um, I've been I've been listening to you. I've been trying to find a fault in you, hmm. and uh, I've been checking everything up, and just can't fault you. Everything you say, you just back it up. And I looked myself, I checked myself. I've even actually got this. Um, it's a different Quran translation. It's by an um, uh, Iraqi Christian, a Jew, sorry. It's in a Penguin uh, book, which is not even available anymore. Anyway. I'll just look at translations of Sahih Muslim and everybody else and then try and do a comparison with this. And, and everything you say it just matches up. And just, just, it's really scary, this is, honestly. I, I just, yeah, my, you know, just, the, the, the thing is, the Muslims, mm -hmm. this is why the Muslims, they don't want to debate me. Because, you see, I don't say things if I cannot prove it. I don't make a claim because anyone can make a claim correct you can make a claim i can anyone can make a claim but for yeah. me i say something like here we go without you surprise me says okay show me where it says that in a second it took me maybe, maybe a minute or two to show you the reference right so yeah i don't say things without proofs same time i am not like you know this is why the muslims are scared to debate me because they have mm. very little knowledge and even the one who have a lot of knowledge, actually the one who have too much knowledge, he is the one who will be scared of me most because he knew how I can switch things upside down in him in anything he say. You notice the Muslim who called me, I was asking him from what he said to me, not what I said to him. He said no, to me, think, he said to me, Allah is the most high. Him. He said to me, Allah, the most mm -hmm. high. I asked him, I hit him with a question. He have no answer. He said, Allah, he gave him the first verse read. He don't know how to answer. He said, I, uh, mm -hmm. Allah is the, the creator. I said, okay, how is the best the creators? He have no answer. So a Muslim always is terrified. He is a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. He's a strong Muslim. Mm -hmm. As long you don't ask him a details. The second you ask him details, he is in trouble. Because Islam is well, the most silly religion. Well, I remember your debate with a uh, uh, thing, somebody from Al Azhar University, and then you just run off like you know. He, the thing is that when you four get time, people who four know, time he run yeah. off, four time he run away, four time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what I've noticed, right? Every time you speak to, I mean, this is what upsets me. But when you speak to, um, uh, this is I'm, I'm just waiting for somebody to actually answer you. And when you speak to somebody, ask them a question, and they just start giving you Jack and Ori's about something else, and then. And, they never answer the question that you ask them. They, you know, you ask them if is, is it dark outside. They'll start telling you, "Oh, it was summertime." Blah blah blah. And then, and they still won't answer that. And then you keep saying that, and that that confuses me. Nobody's actually managed to answer you properly. Like, you know, Maybe you can ask. help us. Maybe if you know somebody, he claimed to be a scholar. Tell him why you don't come and call this guy. You know, please come and get him busted. This guy is really a problem. And we want you to call him and do the, the do the jihad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think nobody's gonna call you. CP, you take care. Thank you very much. If I have any more questions, I'll, 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 just, I'll keep watching you. Yeah, welcome, my friend. I advise call. you Thank to denounce Islam as soon as possible and invite you to accept my Lord, the Messiah, as your Savior, my friend. So I take this opportunity to invite you before you hang up. 
and it's up to you to accept or to 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 to, to think about it or to to refuse it's up to you no no i do believe in jesus right i do believe in very very strongly but i just want to keep watching you i mean right. i don't believe in muhammad all right I no don't. problem that's I good don't. i'm so happy that you decided to leave islam obviously correct thank you very much thank you very much take care take care see this is why i say to you you know you know sometimes uh, some of you make a comment against muslim and i say don't ever hate muslims muslims are poor people need our help the one who called me before this gentleman and this gentleman who just called me i feel sorry for them to be muslims but if you if you want to bring someone out of the of, of darkness you, you will not do that by calling him names Show him proof, show him reference, and he will be shocked. The same as the guy who called me, he was so excited 15 minutes ago when he called me. He was very excited. He thought he got something. Oh, Christian Prince, I was watching your videos, and I almost watched them, all of them, and now because of your video, I think I want to convert to Islam, which means he's lying, because he's a Muslim already. But Less than 30 seconds after, he regret calling me. My friend, we are victorious by the name of Christ, not by the name of Christian Prince. Our Lord, he said, read the books. I did. Our Lord, he said, be smart. I decide to become one. Because you can be stupid, even if you have a brain. Our Lord, he said, find and search for the truth. I did. Our Lord, he said, the truth will set you free. And he made me free. Your Lord made you slave of sex. Your Lord made you slave of your belly and your stomach. Your Lord, even in his heaven, is about addiction to sex and belly and talk and, and, and stupid things. You go to the heaven of Islam, what you have? You have addiction. Addiction of what? Of sex. 70 years orgasm. What kind of God he promised me 70 years orgasm? I go to visit Shabir Ali or Zakir Naik. I knock at his door. He says to me, oh, Christian Prince, I come back 10 years from now. I am now. In the in my in my 60 years orgasm, I have 10 years more to go. <laughs> when they asked Jesus about heaven, he said he and she they will not get married, which means you will be free like angels. He and she they will not get married, they will be the same as angels, which means you will be free from slavery. What is the slavery we have in our life? We have to sleep, we get sick, we need to eat. E eating is not just, it, it, maybe you enjoy eating, but it is a must. It's not really a choice. I wish I don't eat. Truly, truly, I wish I will never need to eat. I wish I never need to sleep. When you live 60 years in your life, you slept 20 years already, which means 20 years of your life is gone. So in the heaven of Jesus, you will be free. You will not be sex addicted. You will not be food addicted. You will not be, you, you will get your freedom in Islamic heaven. You became more addicted to slavery. In the top of that, in the heaven of Allah, you are going to abuse a human. Slavery in the heaven of Allah. 80,000 women, they will be your sex slave. 80,000 little boys, they will be your servant. And we are not sure if they will be your sex slaves too. Because the Quran says, and they will never bleed. How Islam can be a religion in any main, in any way. Jami or Turmudi.
and for sure this hadith is da'if anything will make Islam look like stupid the last the least of the people of paradise in the position is the one with 80,000 servant and 72 wives Eighty thousand servant. What I would do with eighty thousand servant? In the heaven of Allah, there's no laundry. You don't even take a shower. You never sweat. You never get dirty. Your clothes never wrinkle. Your clothes will never be ruined. You will be wearing a green silk forever. You don't even change your panty. If you wish, a food is going to be in front of you. So what servant for? Those are boys for sex, obviously. Eighty thousand little boys. 72 wives this is the lowest reward of a person he go to heaven the lowest so what is the highest he shall have a tent of pearl tent of pearl well thank you very much and this tent is uh, full of uh, cardamom cardamom what Corundum, what they call it, corundum. Sorry if I say it wrong. Set for him the size which like which between Al Jabia and the sea and, and Sanaa. Do you know, guys, the distance between Al Jabia and Al Sanaa? Go right now to Google. Measure the distance between Damascus all the way to Yemen. It's like two thousand miles. This is a bedroom. What is that? All of it, it's made from pearl. One pearl. The size of your bedroom is bigger than Saudi Arabia. This is Islam, and this is a religion. <clears throat> all right my friend you can call me if you are a christian now we said before only muslim they can call if a christian want to call me but please be sure that your questions you know is important not you know don't give me questions already i mean have nothing to do with what i do Hello? Hi, CB. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. I've been going through a lot of stress, but God comes through. <laughs> uh, I was wondering because I uh, was debating with a Muslim and he accused me that I should not become a scholar because he said there's a high price for being a scholar, mm. right? Mm. And I remember somewhere I've seen a hadith saying actually that it's also dangerous for Muslims to try and lift themselves up to be scholars, do you know that hadith? Well, you see, Islam is a is a is a box of stories, so I don't know what exactly you are trying to to make me pick, you know pull for you because there's tons of stories about that. But the Quran said it clearly that there's no scholar in Islam. There's no scholar in Islam. A scholar in Islam is someone who say I believe, not someone who knows. So the Muslim well, who told you about a scholarship to be a scholar, this is a joke because in Islam the Quran confirmed to us that there's no scholar and the only one is called people of knowledge is those who say we believe, not the one who say we are, we know. In chapter 3 verse number 7, it says the following. It is he who has revealed to you, etc. Descriptions, blah 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 blah. And then you will see here it says, and those who are sound instruction, they say, or which means those who have knowledge, they say we believe therein. If you go to the interpretation, you will see that a scholar in Islam is not someone who knows; it is someone who say we believe mm -hmm. without knowing. That is a scholar. Otherwise, the Quran, the Quran says it clearly. That a huge part of the Quran, nobody knows what it means, save Allah. 
so how you can be a scholar in a something even the God who said that he himself saying ah, you cannot explain what I'm saying mm -hmm. because it's stupid okay well maybe the word isn't scholar then maybe that's the English translation mm. uh, be maybe because... if you can get me the hadith so can I get the, the you mm, know, yeah that's the one I can't yeah, it. maybe if you can get me like a, I don't know, like you know, you have to. You see, my my brain library, you have to, <laughs> you, have, you have to hit the, to, to hit the bomb, and then now you do not hit anything. <laughs> Sorry, it's all right. Uh, well, anyways, uh, I will try to dig deeper. Maybe some of the listeners have heard this as well, so maybe they know it. Yeah, well, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, there's tons of hadith because I'm not sure really what what uh, what exactly. Uh, the point it is, is something that there is some judgment if you want to be like a scholar of Islam or a teacher of Islam that that you will be judged if you put yourself up over the, the scholars or something like that uh, and I just I, I just saw it one time and I forgot to take it down because hey that was interesting like okay well uh we will <laughs> yeah. see if we can if we can get something in the memory to remember something have to do with what you said but I don't really recall anything no I've, I've only saw that one time so I was just maybe 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 <laughs> all right yeah. I had to try putting my ball uh, ball in one balls and check ah maybe CP knows well okay uh, it's not about maybe it's about you don't present to me uh, uh, you know uh, maybe you understand the, the hadith wrongly Mm, could be but I was just when I saw it I was like hey that's the same thing about uh, that you will be judged if you want to be a teacher in Christianity mm. and it's just like why can't I remember it now uh, mm. so yeah well I will try again and again and again see if I can find it uh, if I find it I will text it to you on Skype All right, no uh, another thing I want to ask you I'm going to do a Danish blog um, is it okay if I translate some of your stuff uh, and write it up? Always translate whatever you want. You do not need to ask me. No, no, but it's just because I cannot put videos on that blog. But mm. if I uh, type down what you do in some of your videos and type it down in Danish and then uh, refer to you, would that be okay? No problem. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure before I start doing it. <laughs> All right, no problem. Okay, thank you very much, CB. Thank you. Have Take a good care. evening. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, you see, uh, Muhammad, uh, he mentioned many things about learning and about supposedly knowing. But how Muhammad himself can speak of somebody to be a scholar if Muhammad himself could not explain what he himself is saying? There is nothing in Islam is called really a scholar. If you go and check any scholar book, you will see always he and what he say by Allah knows best. Because all what the scholars of Islam, or we call them scholars, they are trying to defend Islam. And they are knowing already that they are just guessing in how to protect. If you remember when I was debating with Dr. Rohi, he said to me, Islam, a tafsir, made to fix a problem what is the problem the problem is christians jews others they were attacking islam and tafsir is made is meant to defend islam not to explain islam one of the hadith muhammad he said about those who have let us say, or the one you call them scholars. I don't know if I can find. This website doesn't have anything. Yeah. Well, the problem is, if you want to find uh, things which is not in English, it's useless for you. Uh, obviously, obviously, Islam do not need scholars because scholars can destroy Islam. A scholar in Islam is someone who say he believe as the verse in the Quran says, not someone who explain Islam because nobody can explain it. 
a Muslim he have all the time they call him a scholar like example Ibn Kathir he have tons of pages explaining to us things which is funny and stupid and the more he explained the more he made us laugh at Islam so what the purpose of this scholar at his time this person he wrote a book and at his time he sound like he is a smart to the people around him but in our time he sounds stupid for people in our time because now people they knew better and they will not accept the garbage they have there if we go to Ibn Kathir which is a big scholar in Islam supposedly who is a lot smarter than other scholars of Islam because simply very for very simple reason he is a person who live in Syria not a person who live in Saudi Arabia and because of that that gave an advantage to be surrounded by people a lot more educated but yet when he explained to us anything in the Quran you will die laughing if I go right now as an example and I will use a verse which always we use just for as an example <clears throat> If we go to chapter 80, it's chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7, where it says that there's a gashing fluid that issued from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. And then we try to understand that. So what we would do, we go to the scholars. The scholars, they make it more horrible from what it is. Because the scholars now, they got Allah busted, they got Muhammad busted, because simply it says there that the Quran saying the following. So what the Muslims today they do? They try to escape the scholars, say those scholars at that time, they have a wrong understanding. The Quran should be explained based on today. So now we have to change the meaning of the Quran, upgrade the meaning, fabricate a meaning which is not there. So Ibn Kathir was a scholar yesterday. Yesterday is not a scholar. Al-Jalalain was a scholar. Today is not a scholar. All the scholars of Islam suddenly became no scholars. Who is the scholar today? Zakir Naik? Shabir Ali? <laughs> Who are the scholars? The Muslims, they decide to dump all their scholars because their scholars, they brought shame for them. When those scholars like Ibn Kathir, they wrote their interpretation at that time, they are not under the threat. They, they don't. They do not need to to say, oh yeah, you know, okay. Uh, they are defending Quran, yes, but they are not under the threat of others. So they do not need to be somehow hypocrite, extreme hypocrite. The Muslim today they practice hypocrisy. They knew what the Quran says, but in the same time, the second you say to them, let us see what your scholars say, they don't want that. If you remember a few days ago, a guy, he said to me, let us see what the scholars they said. So I said to him, do you accept what the scholars say? He said about this one, this one, yes. This, uh, I said, do you accept him as your scholar? Yes or no? Do you accept everything he said? He said, no, only about this verse. So what the Muslim they do, they choose their candies. Oh, the scholar here, he was right, but in the verse after it, he was wrong. So how he is a scholar and you are not, but you are the one who decide he was right or wrong. How we being called a scholar if he is not a scholar? And why this cult need a lot, need a scholar anyway? I mean, why, why does God, you see the Muslim, they say to us that the Quran have an amazing, powerful language, which I find very funny and very stupid to say. If you go in the Quran, you will see the Arab are making fun of Muhammad, saying we can even do better. The Arab way were not amazed, they were amused of his lies. Look what the Arab they said to Muhammad. Chapter 8, verse number 31. And when our revelation are recited into them, they say, we have heard 
if we wish you we can speak the like of this the Muslim they say that in the time of Muhammad Muhammad he challenged him bring a Quran like this and they answer him they said yes we can and we can do better even even the Quran say something stupid about Allah making Quran better than the Quran Have you ever heard of a God? He will write Quran better than his Quran. Well, let me introduce to you Allah. Chapter 22, verse number 52. Never we send a messenger or a prophet before, but when he recited the messenger, Satan, he proposed opposite, like uh, satanic verses. Okay. And Allah will abolish that. Okay. How Allah, he abolished that. Satan is the source of Quran and this is a proven in the Quran after shaitan he recite verses Allah will abolish the verses from the Quran hold on how we know that this verse itself is not from shaitan himself as long you agreed that shaitan he provides satanic verses to Muhammad as we see in the verse and he make Muhammad speak satanic verses how we can confirm that this verse itself is not made by Satan to make us relax? You know what I mean? You just confirmed to me that your prophet he received Satanic verses. You go to different verse in the Quran, you find the Quran making more poo poo. As usual chapter 2 verse number 106 nothing of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten hold on hold on Allah is causing the Muslims to forget the Quran why what is the purpose of this causing to forget the Quran I thought the Quran is the one who make you forget things. Sorry, the shaitan. The shaitan is the one who make you forget the word of God. The shaitan who made you forget the teaching of God. The shaitan who made you forget to pray. The shaitan who make you forget to do the good things. Now, is forgetting Quran is something good? And look what the verse says. But we bring in place between two bracket one better or like therefore what the heck <laughs> look at this madness allah will make you forget quran and he will make something better have you ever heard of a stupid idea like this so i made a books i made my many books and now i decide to make better books so what i would do i will make you forget all my books because obviously it was maybe not, not very bad what kind of god he make a book and then he regret making the book and he says he will make something similar or better and look how stupid the story here what do you mean something better or similar by the way the translation here is not accurate let us try to find better translation <clears throat> this is big tal let us see uh, let us see yusuf ali hmm. none of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we substitute something better or similar how we can understand this this is the most stupid verse ever Allah saying he is going to cause you to forget the Quran because he will make something similar or better first of all if it is similar why you make us forget the first one it is similar so what the point secondly how Allah he can make Quran better than the Quran any Muslim can explain Look like Allah, he went and he took some Arabic education and now his Arabic is getting better. So he will make you forget the Quran because he was going to make something similar or better. 
Now, who is the Muslim when I call me and tell me which was the better Quran? Which was the worst Quran? Because when you say something better, it's mean there is there is there is <laughs> there's something better. Which is verses are better than the other verses? <coughs> Any Muslim? Anyone? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim want to answer? Maybe, maybe. As you see, my friend, Islam is a very silly religion. It cannot handle a simple question. This is why the Muslims, they avoid speaking about details. They try to frame you let me recite the Quran for you and see how beautiful it is and what they do they bring you someone he have a nice voice you want to see how the Quran sound like ugly go and see the recitation of the Quran made by Muhammad hijab himself it sound like a mule singing if you have a beautiful voice it doesn't matter what you say even if you sing something dirty filthy words the song will come look nice, especially if you don't speak the language, you don't understand the language, right? Because you don't understand what he's saying, so you do not notice the ugly words. So when I, I sing in a, in, a, in a different language, and you do not know what I am saying, if my voice is beautiful, then it's going to be a beautiful song, as simple as that. So they try to fool you, making it as the singing is what is going to make you believe or the beautiful singing will make you believe this is, must be from God. I remember there's a guy, he's a sheikh. Let me see if I can get his video. <clears throat> the sheikh, he was in France. His, his name is uh, Al Uraifi, he's a Saudi sheikh. So, this guy, uh, they have like a, you know, they invited even foreigners to be in this conference. So, uh, the sheikh he said I want a volunteer a French guy who is not a Muslim he came to the stage as a volunteer I'm trying to find it well, or if he He said to the guy, I'm going to recite to you two Quran. One is fake and one is from God. And we will not tell you which one. You tell me which one your heart feel better for it. The guy said, okay. He recited for him two verses. One is fabricated and one is Quran. And guess what? The French guy, he pick up the fake one. <laughs> Very embarrassing. The guy he said to him, let us say it again, let us say it again. <laughs> you know, I think what happened, you know, this guy, he thought, he, he told them, I want to do that, pick up for me somebody, maybe they pay him. So they did not do that. They got somebody is honest. He is just, uh, it's not a fake thing. And when they asked him to, you know, to, to tell his opinion, the guy, he chose the fake Quran. Uh, I'm trying to, to remember what was the name of the video. <clears throat> Um, 
I made a video actually about it. Here we go. I found it. But let me see if I can find you the the, the uh, something translated. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know the translation here. Okay, this is. Uh, let me post for you the link. All right, for those who speak Arabic. You will see the Sheikh, he read for him Quran, and the guy, he chose the wrong Quran. He chose the false Quran. He said, I like it more. If you go on YouTube, you will find tons of videos. A reaction of a Catholic when he received, he heard for his time the Quran. Catholic, yeah, they say to you Catholic because the Muslim they believe that if you say Catholic, it means that's it. Like this is the most, the enemy of Islam is the Catholic because those are the crusade. All what you see there is a fabrication. How come Quran does not change our heart as Arab Christians? We hear Quran every day and we laugh at it. It's a comedy show. No, I cannot play it because they will claim copyright over it, as you know. I avoid playing videos, it's not it's not mine. And here you see people are laughing, those Arab are laughing. This guy is saying to them, see, this is the truth, this is the truth, this is the reality when there is no editing for videos. They got busted. Everybody is making fun. Those are Muslims who they are making fun of Islam. Look what this guy he said. Al Quran lam yu'athar fina nahnu al Arab, wa huwa yatwaqa an yu'athar fi ghayrahum. Quran did not affect us, and we are the Arab, and 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 he is expecting that the Quran is going to affect someone who is not an Arab. Many time, I play for Muslims. Quran, which is not a true Quran, and I asked them, What do you think about that? They say it's amazing, so beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a Quran made by us, Arab Christians, because it sounds the same. So he said, It's amazing. I said, The time, do you, do you have a mistake there? Let me see if I can find you. Oh, hold on. I, I, I found I found the video which I made. Let me post it for you about this uh, disaster. Here we go. This is the video I made. About that fake, uh, you know, amazing Quran. <clears throat> Let us see. The problem when you search Christian Prince, you end finding tens of thousands of videos, and you cannot even, even Christian Prince, you cannot find his video. Now, how am I going to find my video? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it is going to be hard to find it. Um, trying to remember all the titles it was for the video, or the, you know, but yeah, I cannot find it. Let us take somebody look like he is sending me the link, maybe. Let us see. No, 
no, they're this one. All right. Yeah, I cannot find it. Here we go. This is a Quran made by us. I found it. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Before he start, this is a Quran made by Arab Christians, and each time we play it for a Muslim, he cannot find a mistake in it, and he say Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. This is the link. You can download it. Feel free to share it. And this Quran saying that Jesus is God, Islam is defeated, and Muhammad is a false prophet. As simple as that. Jesus is God, Muhammad is from Shaitan, and he's a false prophet, and we are victorious by Jesus. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. ألف لام حاء here he is speaking about a Christian TV station but the Muslim who do not know Islam he hear this he will think this is absolutely Quran and it's so beautiful the guy he have a beautiful voice the words sound like Quran and who care about the meaning it's like the cobra which move in front of a stick. The cobra is deaf, and so is the Muslims. Zachariah, in case you do not know, he's talking about Zachariah. Zachariah is a Christian priest who exposed Islam in Arabic. So he said Zachariah and what Zachariah did to the Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> he make all the hats of the Imams fell down. يسحق الشيطان اللئيم والقرآن الرجيم بقوة رب المجد المخلص العظيم وضع الكمامة تحت العمامة في أفواه الشيوخ
بالسيره والسنه والناسخ والمنسوخ فبنعمه يسوع المسيح وحبه الكبير فبنعمة يسوع المسيح وحبه الكبير دخل ذكريا في عقر دار الإسلام عبر الأثير دخل ذكريا في عقر دار الاسلام عبر الاثير يثبت بالدليل والبرهان في اسئله عن الايمان في اسئله عن الايمان ان محمد ملبوس من الشيطان فنادى ربه من الاسطوران يا زكريا قم فنادى ربه من استراليا يا ذكريا <laughs> Okay, translation. So simply what he's saying here, that this brother Zachariah, who is a Christian priest, he got the Muslim busted. He made their hats fail down, all the imam hats fail down. And he made made them buy the sleeves of their of, of their of their shirts. Because they have no answers, and he got them busted from a nasikh al mansukh, which means the the, the 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 same verse we are talking about, like abrogating verses and abrogated verses, and they have no answer. And then his God, he called him from Australia, <laughs> because he was an Australian, <laughs> and he said to him, "Oh, Zachariah, get up, get up, show them the truth about Islam, and show them that Muhammad is from the Shaitan. He's possessed by Shaitan." Let us continue. قم واخدم ربك خدمة سرية قم واخدم ربك خدمة سرية ولسوف أعطيك طلاقة اللسان وحسن البيان وبسيف الكلمة في حوار الحق تسحق الشيطان نسح. Anyway, that's enough. So this is a Quran made by us Arab Christians or Arab speaking Christians, and we challenge Allah to make Quran better than this. Can He? Can He? This Quran saying that Jesus is God. Can your God can do better? If somebody really he is into blogs, you can take this link and play it to the Muslims in the street, and you will see the Muslim, they will say nothing wrong with it. They, I love it. I'm amazing. Get them busted. It will be the most famous video ever. Because they will think that this is Quran. Yeah, the link here we go. I'm posting. You guys don't see the link? How many time I need to post? Is the link showing, guys? Is the link showing? Okay, why people they keep saying share the video? I'm showing it. Here we go. I'm posting the link. All right. <clears throat> So they try to fool you, they bring a beautiful voice and they say to you, this is how Allah, look how amazing, beautiful. 
I can make Quran better than Allah Quran. And I can sing better than Allah. Any Muslim want to prove me wrong? I want you to call me. You recite the Quran for me, and I will recite a song for you. A song, just a song. And let everybody see who is the one his words is better and more beautiful, and the and, and the song they will like it more. Who want to do that? Such a testing. <clears throat> Even though my voice is tired, hmm? uh, you guys don't forget to download this video <coughs> and share it around. And me myself, I will download it actually. Can Allah sing better than us? I don't want to sing now. <laughs> there is there is a song. Just to show you how silly the Quran. A silly song can be ten times better than the Quran. If I sing for you this this Quran, this verse in the Quran, I mean everybody will laugh. <laughs> نأتي بخير منها أو مثلها. None of our revelation we abrogate or we cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better and similar. I mean, this is amazing. This is so smart. <clears throat> oh boy. Hmm. And Abdul, when I take the challenge, who is a Muslim when I call us and recite Quran for us and show us how beautiful the Quran? And I will, I will, I will, I will sing and, and advertising. Imagine advertising, I will make it sound better than your Quran. <coughs> Any Muslim? Let us see if the Muslims, if, if people will be affected by the beauty of your Quran. Hmm. How you can call? You mean Sam Shamoon? He have his, uh, you know, his his page on YouTube. Contact him. He have Facebook. Contact him. Well, what I can do? I'm I'm doing broadcast every day, so I'm losing my voice. What I can do? If I have right now four wives, one of them she will be making a tea for me. The other one she will be doing massage for my feet. Islam, Islam, beautiful religion, beautiful religion. Four slave women. And the other one, she will be doing belly dancing. Hmm. Any Abdul? Asfur talim nishbak waliya nunu. You see the nunu? Nunu. It's about a bird. It sounds better than your Quran. Asfur talim nishbak waliya nunu Khabbini and khabbini dakhilak ya nunu Khabbini and khabbini dakhilak ya nunu Nizlita khaddu dama wajnahatu mitki وتهدب الأرض وقال بدي امشي وما في نزلتها خد الدمع وجناحاته متكي وتهدب الأرض وقال بدي امشي وما في ضميته صدري وصار يتوجع لجروحاته ضميته صدري وصار يتوجع على جروحات وقابل ما يكسر الحبس كسر صوته وجناحه 
قلت له خايف من وين قال لي من القفص هربان قلت له ريشاتك وين قال لي فرفطها الزمان قلت له جاي من وين قال لي من بيت الجيران قلت له خايف من وين قال لي من القفص هربان عصفور طل من الشباك وقال لي يا نونو الله سكير اوف مي الله ايه يا نونو الله سكيرد اوف مي الله ايه يا نونو مي نونو تيك يو تو هافن ان بريك يور جاد الله ويز يو مي الله بيكيم نونو سو هي كان اندرستاد يو بات الله هي هاف نو برين ان نو بادي نو وين هي از جوين تو شو وين And Allah is really a joke. <laughs> And he cannot be like Nunu. <laughs> Quran, right? <clears throat> Quran, yeah. And Nunu is just the name of a bird. No, sorry, the name of the, 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 the person, the, Nunu, the bird is asking for refuge. It's about the story of a bird trying to seek refuge. He broke the, he, he ran away from the cage. And he's asking for help. He broke his wings during the time trying to escape. Hello. Hey, my friend. How are you? Thank you. But I just I want to tell you that God bless you. Thank you, my friend. I my uh, okay. Your voice is really good. Oh okay, <laughs> you are calling for that reason. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to I'm going to change my career now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all love, uh, Christian Prince. Thank you very much, my friend. We are just showing uh, them that the, what they what they say to them about the beauty of the Quran. It doesn't matter, really. You bring a guy, somebody he 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 sing a commercial. The yeah. commercial will stuck in your head. Like there's a commercial I heard when I was a kid. I cannot get rid of it. You know, because especially <laughs> when you're a child, it's stuck in your head. That's it. The commercial, it was a beautiful. You yes, like it about candies. Course. Yeah. 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 What, is, what does have to do with how beauty, especially if you don't even understand, you know, they are singing for them the Quran in a language nobody understands. So what is the beauty about of it? Course, yeah. From the age of two years and three years. Three years. Yeah. yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you and for calling. Once you, once you, um, uh, uh, one of your videos, you uh, told that, You said that uh, you will read, uh, take uh, Quran to one of your callers, and you read a real Quran, okay, and he refused it. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. What okay. God do. bless you. God bless you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. We love you all. Take care. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Maybe, maybe. Hmm? Any Abdul? Who is uh, who is Abdul when I do competition? The Quran of Allah versus the singing of Christian Prince. Let us see who's going to do better. Anyone there? Yeah, do you love me? Do you? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Here we go. We have Quran. Hmm? Any Abdul? Why Muslim cannot marry anyone? Because simply, the, the, the purpose of marrying non-Muslims is, is to bring the children to Islam. So if a Muslim woman, she marry a non-Muslim, the children, they will follow the father. Because the strong in the family, the one who forced things to happen is the man. So Muslim women, they cannot marry non-Muslim because that will make the children are not Muslims. Muhammad, he tried to spread Islam by having more and more babies. So they, he allowed them to marry from non-Muslims, but not vice versa. All right. Um... Uh, Any Abdul? 
there is a there is an, a writer his name is Taha Hussein very famous let me show you let me find you his picture he's a sheikh actually Taha Hussein the Muslims they hate him because he said bring me a pen and a paper and I will write Quran better than the Quran you have <laughs> and this guy is a super tupper in Arabic I mean this guy is is a, is something let us go. Let me start. Let me find you the the, the images of this uh, Taha Hussein. He's a blind, by the way. Let us see. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim on a call? Any Muslim? Any Muslim? What's what's happening to the Muslims? Anyone? Uh. Even Muhammad, he claimed that he can write Quran better than the Quran of Allah. Right? Do you remember the hadith where Muhammad he said when he was dying, "Bring me a paper, and I will write you something which you will never misguided after it." Let us see if we can find the hadith. Here we go. Muhammad, he claimed that he can write something better than the Quran. Ibn Abbas said when Allah, uh, Allah Apostle was in his death bed and where some men in the house, he said, come near. I will write for you something after which you will not go astray. Some of his companions, they said, Allah Apostle is seriously ill and we have the Holy Quran. So what is that Muhammad he will write which is better than the Quran? Because obviously the Quran is not good to keep you not misguided. You know what I mean? Hello? Hello? All right. Do you see it, guys? He want to write something to you so you will never go astray. Which means Muhammad is saying here, the whole Quran is garbage. It's not the one who will keep you from being astray. What I will write for you right now, is what will make you stay guided. The companion they say, so what the Quran for? We do not need you to, to write for us. I thought we have the Quran. And then the Muslim they start fighting about 
what Muhammad said some of them says give him a paper to write for us come on give him a paper what was Muhammad going to write for us which is going to keep us not to be misguided so what was the Quran for any Muslim have an answer Can your God Allah the Nunu? Can he answer? Where is your God the Nunu? Why he cannot debate me? I am here waiting for the Nunu, and he cannot show up for me. Your God is a small like a Nunu. He have no idea what to do. And your Quran, he claimed that he have a better solution than you do. He is going to write for you in the last moment a Quran better than the Quran of Allah. La, 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 la. This is religion. But Allah is very real. Wallahi. Look, look how he proved Allah to be real. He said, He said, Allah is very real, wallahi. Which means Allah is very real. I swear by Allah. I mean, how stupid that argument is. You prove to us Allah is real by saying wallahi. Okay, I will prove to you that Allah is not real. Wallahi. Wallahi. <laughs> is that hadith is real? Wallahi, or it's not it's not real. How your prophet saying he will write for you something better than the Quran? Can you tell me? How Muhammad is going to write something better than the Quran? Who is going to answer? Any Muslim Wallahi? There is an attack by terrorist in Christmas market in Strasbourg two people are dead in France okay bring more people to Europe I mean we need more hmm? we need more let us see how many attack will happen in the in the Christmas time. A guy was arrested yesterday in Ohio. He was preparing to attack a Jewish synagogue. A Muslim convert. Well, you know what is the what is the what is the explanation of those who they call themselves liberals, uh, the socialists, etc. Why, when somebody convert to Islam right away, he want to kill non-believers? Why somebody he convert to Christianity or even became an atheist, he don't want to kill people? Why the second you convert to Islam, you wanna you know you, you wanna be a terrorist? What happened? No, I do not know about that plan. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. I hope we have a good time together. And I hope you explain many points. And uh, uh, excuse me for my singing if you don't like it. Uh, we, we are just making a point. But... Every day Islam proved to us that Islam is a false cult 
bring nothing but violence, chaos, bloodshed, and the second Islam into a town, peace run from the other side. If you don't believe me, go and see what the Muslims are facing in their own land. I saw what they call it a strike in France, and I saw people screaming Allahu Akbar attacking police cars. France is a stupid country. When I say stupid, I mean the government. Imagine the policeman, he cannot defend himself. They were beating the policeman, shouting Allahu Akbar, and the poor policeman, he cannot defend himself. So why he is a police? I mean, why you want to work in the police in, this, in such a country? Resign. Resign. If a country don't allow a policeman to defend himself and they are beating him with metal, which means can cause his death, even they put fire inside his car, the poor guy. His car is burning. He can be burned alive. And yet the poor guy is not allowed to defend himself. What kind of a country? What's wrong with those people? Right, a country where police cannot carry guns, they better not to have police. You better not to work in the police. Thank God in America we carry guns. You know I have my gun with me, and I'm not a policeman. Actually, my gun license is not to carry a gun; it carry guns. I can carry as many as I wish. I can carry two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't matter. I have a license to carry guns. So, you see, carrying guns is not a problem. The problem is, if nobody allowed to carry guns, only criminals and terrorists can get guns because always those people, they can get their hands on guns. They have a market they can go to and they buy their guns. So you are the good citizen, you will not have guns. The police don't have guns, the, the terrorists have guns. How stupid that is. Why you need to carry a gun, why not? As long people they carry guns, you carry a gun. Why not? You want to be an easy target for any criminal when I shoot you? What's wrong with carrying a gun? Well, why, what, what is the problem? Why you need to carry a gun? What is gun is made for? For me, as an Arab, we use it as a tooth stick. I don't know what you use it for. This is your opinion. You are not a fan of guns. I'm a fan of guns. A house have gun is a hard deal house for a thief. If the th if the thief he knew that the owner of this house don't have a gun, that's mean you are asking him to come. Come, you have a gun, you don't have a gun. As simple as that. But when a thief he knew that everybody in this neighborhood have a gun, he have to think one million time before he jump from your window. Is that correct? It's not guns who make you a bad person. It's what you do with it. Are you getting my idea? Guns is not the one who kill people. It's people who kill people. So here we go. I have guns since I was a kid. And I never, I don't kill people. So what's wrong with having guns? But if you decide to be a criminal, you know, you're not even a license. You do not need a license for a gun. You go and buy a gun from the black market and then you shoot people. Actually, in America, cities where guns are forbidden is the one have the highest crime. As an example, Chicago. Guns is forbidden in Chicago. Go and see what the what the what the rate what the, the rate of crimes in Chicago. In my neighborhood, who dare to shoot? Who dare? They will make you. They will make you like a screen door in a second. Once I have a friend. He came from the backyard, my backyard. He was just joking with me, so he put his head in the in the back window, and before he moved his head, he found two guns in his head. My neighbors right away they came to my yard, and you know the guy got scared like hell. I told him why you are coming from the back the back backyard. He said, I was just to, trying to make a surprise for you. I said, here we go. You got a surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> you are lucky they did not shoot you. So you want to be a criminal, you will get people who can deal with you. But now in France, 
the police don't have guns the police are beating terrorists they are attacking you so who's going to protect you what the point of having a police if the police himself cannot protect himself do you remember when the terrorists they attack the the newspaper in france the one who made the cartoon you remember two poor policemen they came in their bicycle and they have no guns i mean why you came well you're coming you heard that there is a shooting and you are coming with your bicycle and you have a stick with you so what the terrorists did to them they shot them dead in the spot if i am in the market and a terrorist he start shooting people i will shoot him dead right away we have the right to defend ourselves to protect my country to protect my people we cannot have a policeman everywhere we cannot it's impossible by the time the policemen they come many people will be dead but if the people are armed the good people are armed then terrorists they have no chance to 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 kill many maybe they can kill one maybe two but they will not be able to escape and they will be punished You can buy a gun, but don't be a criminal. Be a good man. Never hurt anyone. Protect yourself, protect your family, and that's what the gun is for. For me, I, I have a hobby. You know, I like uh, I like guns since I was a kid. You know, I don't carry my gun because I'm afraid of anyone. I don't really. This is not the issue. I was carrying a gun all my life. And by the way, uh, the gun I carry is plastic. I like plastic. Hmm. Any Abdul? Sure, guns will improve the uh, situation because you will have better security. A terrorist he knew that if he enter a market to shoot people the people then themselves they are armed but he look what the terrorists they do now like now they, they attack in, in the market they look there's no police around and nobody holding guns so we shoot them and we get away with it but if they knew everybody there is armed they knew when they shoot they will shoot back at them so yes it's going to improve and I just give you an example Chicago in USA there's no guns it's not allowed but it is the highest crime in USA. So here we go. You forbid guns in Chicago. Did you solve it? No. It became worse. Because only criminals, they have guns. So yes, guns will, will improve the, 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 the issue. Now, if you say to me, what if somebody is a crazy, have a gun? A crazy person, always he can get a gun. A criminal, always he can get a gun. Offer extra money, and there's a criminal who will sell you guns. Illegal. Right? And you know, if somebody is a criminal, he do not need even to buy a gun. He can kill you by a knife. How many, how many attack made by terrorists by knives or even by a car? If somebody decides to kill, he can kill easy by many ways. So, how we can fight criminals, how we can fight terrorists by what? By having a police are not allowed to have guns like in France. How you can stop them? Do you remember the terrorist who have a big, big truck and he was going over the people in France, killing tens of people? If there is one person have a gun, he will shoot him and he will get him killed right away. But nobody to stop the terrorists there. There is no police. Police don't have guns. People don't have guns. So who's going to stop the terrorist? We are against violence and we don't support violence. We are not supporting guns because guns is, uh, is uh, something for fun, but we have a problem. Can you have a policeman in every door, in every street, in every market, in every store? No, you cannot. And even though, even if you have a police security person who have a gun, 
the 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 terrorists they would, the first thing they would do they would shoot him dead because the one who starts first is the one who get the surprise correct so let us say there's a store and there's two uh, uh, there's two policemen there all what the terrorists did they do he go and, uh, and he surprised them from their back and he shoot them here we go the two police when we have them is dead because they are easy target they are wearing uniform we knew who they are Yeah, those uh, you know, Republican and Democrat, they have a lot of issue about this issue. But what what do you what do you want to do? I mean, if you wanna if you're already against guns, then you should not stop people from driving cars because cars can kill more than guns. Actually, people they die by car accident a lot more than people die by guns in USA. We should ban cars. We should ban knives. We should buy ban uh, <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Oh boy. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. And me myself, I believe that every good citizen he should be armed and ready to defend his country. It doesn't matter what your country is. A house without weapon is an open invitation for criminals. A criminal when he knew that you are armed, he will think 20 times before he jump from your window. Don't hurt people, defend yourself. Don't be a criminal. Defend yourself. The right of defending yourself is something right to do. Hello? Yeah, hi, my friend, my brother. It's Mr. A. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Alive. Oh, thank God. All right. What do you want thank to say? Thank the us? whole one. What do you want yes, to say, my, my friend? Uh, I, I wanted to uh, see if I can uh, share with the viewers a short encounter between Jesus Christ, the Holy One, and Abraham. All right. Very interesting, very short, but uh, it's very good to our Christian brothers to know that our Messiah, the Messiah, and the Holy One was written about 2,000 years before he even was born as a human. All right. And all Muslims and all Jews, listen to this, because this is the Son of God. This is the Holy One. Okay. Yes, uh, we, as we know, Jesus, he says that before Abraham was born, I am. Okay. So, well, the story, short story is like this. We can find it in John 8. Jesus Christ was in the temple courts and explaining to the people who he was. The people argued with him because Jesus said that the God is his father and that he came down from heaven. Mm -hmm. And the people got really mad, really angry when Jesus told them that he met and saw Abraham. Okay. Jesus there in the temple court got very angry when he said this because um, that was crazy to them because Abraham was on this earth 2,000 years before Jesus even was born. So, and John uh, 8, 56, we find that this uh, conversation between uh, Jesus and uh, the Jews, 8.56, Jesus says, uh, your father, or eight, John 8.56 says, your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day. He saw it and he, and he was glad. So in John 8.57, they answered to the Holy One, you are not yet, yet 50 years old, they said to him, and you have seen Abraham. And Jesus answers in John 8, 58. Very truly, I tell you, Jesus answered, before Abraham was born, I am. Right? All right, yeah. What did we mention that already today in, in our broadcast in the beginning? Exactly. So if Jesus said he saw Abraham, then in the story of Abraham, maybe we should find someone that uh, is Jesus or an account. Uh, encounter with Jesus 
Well, there is a mysterious encounter that took place in the Abraham story in Genesis 14. Genesis 14, we learned that Abraham and his people were in battle. As Abraham was returning from the battle, he met someone who was very interesting on his journey. He met someone that came out of nowhere and was referred to as the king of Salem or the king of Shalem. His name was uh, Melchizedek. Mm. And uh, well, this is in Genesis 14. It says like this, Genesis 14, 18, 2000 years before Jesus was born. Then Melchizedek, king of Shalem, put that on your mind, king of Shalem, brought out bread and wine. He was a priest of God most high. So this is Genesis 14, 18, Genesis 14, 19. And he blessed Abraham saying blessed be uh, blessed be abraham but by god most high creator of heaven and earth i don't know why my uh, voice is uh, coming back no we hear you fine there's no problem maybe you have your youtube running uh no i talk to you the youtube goes away but uh, uh so i continue here uh genesis that was Genesis 14 19 Genesis 1420 and praise be to God most high who delivered your enemies into your hand then Abraham give gave him a tenth of everything so imagine who is this guy coming out from nowhere Melchizedek who is this great man that the prophet of God gives him a tenth of everything well if you see Genesis 14, 18, then Melchizedek, king of Shalem, king of Shalem. Shalem in uh, Hebrew or Aramaic translated means peace. So it says, really it says, then Melchizedek, the king of peace. And Jesus is the only one referred to as the prince of peace. So we got the, his royalty, like the father and the son. Uh, anyway, king and prince of peace. So king of Shalem brought out bread and wine. So bread and wine with Abraham and he blessed him. This sounds very much like the communion of Jesus Christ, the Holy One. All right, my friend. The well, communion we have today in the churches. Well, you know, we, we can spend the whole day quoting verses from the Bible about, about this. Uh, you know, it's this, enough. Uh, it's only, enough only, only this uh, last part I will right. tell you. Okay. And uh, they said he was a priest of God Most High. So he was a king and a priest. Only Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is referred to as king and priest in the Old and New Testament. So we got the king of peace having communion with Abraham, and he is called king and priest and this is only the messiah so when jesus tell people i have seen abraham and he was glad to see me you can find this encounter in genesis 14 18. you can see it easy without going there into those verses you can go to, to, to genesis 18 it's very clear there that god he came to abraham and he spoke to abraham and he came as a man so Oh, there's you know that's it this is why jesus he said abraham is saw my day and he mentioned specifically actually a chapter 18 i believe where chapter 18 verse number one you can read it it says it clearly how abraham he came uh how, how god came to abraham but anyway you know when you speak to muslims uh, muslims they will not be listening to any what was what you said they will he will be deaf you know because simply I, I, the, I the, the book he, he you know the book you're reading from you don't believe in it anyway so when he was he asked you where where in the where the Trinity in the Old Testament he is not asking you for giving answers he is just giving you a hard time you know that's it yeah, so exactly. to say okay let us see how what you can do where it says that and the most and most of them they are copy paste from each other they heard somebody saying we cannot find one place Jesus says I am God worship me all the Muslim they ask the same question the Muslim he will come to me and he will ask this question I answer him today he come tomorrow he asked the same question 
become the, the weakness the same question even it doesn't matter how many times we answer them but they will play deaf and they will play that never heard the answer yet like when when they debate uh, you know any christian and they say where jesus said i'm god worship me is it really i mean is, isn't it amazing that this is stupid to say because there's tons of verses in the bible that says jesus clear saying that and yet the muslim he challenged us to show him one verse show me one verse <laughs> isn't it jesus said to the to the jews what do you say of the messiah they said he is son of david then he said to them well if he is a son of david then how david call him my lord my god in his spirit and uh, yeah. he called him Jehovah, you know. So, uh, uh, yet this is Jesus talking. This is not Luke. This is not Mark. This is not John. This is Messiah what? himself speaking. Uh, I'm the way. I'm the light. It's yeah. uh, it's only God that is that is the way. Yeah, but it's you see, God. always. I, what do you want more? I don't always, understand. always try to focus in hitting the head of the snake before you explain about Jesus, because the head of the snake. Is not going to let the the snake, you know, listen to you. Unless yeah, you, that I understand. This and, is and more then, for the Christians. Yeah, this and, is and, yeah. This Christian. is for the Christian. The, always when I debate Muslims, uh, you notice right away. I don't go and show from the Bible because I'm just wasting my time. You know, I, <laughs> I get invested from his religion, and then after he agree that his religion is stupid, then we can go and we can speak about the Bible. Yeah. Even if you like, you have told them hundreds of times, man, the 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 ch the child will not be a boy or a girl, depending on oh who of who orgasms first. It's scientifically proved. They say no, but if the Quran says it, I believe it. I believe. Yeah, but but it. this is something he said to us. But between him, him and himself, he knew that this is stupid. Of course, he knew this is stupid, man. Okay, but what, so, what he can say, I mean, well, he will agree that this is uh, the, the second he agreed that this is stupid, then he, he agreed that Allah is a uh, false god. <laughs> so he have to defend until the last moment until he have no blood left in his nerves, you know. Yeah, and then run screaming. Huh? Yeah, but anyway, God is good, and as you see, a lot of people live in Islam, left and right. And mm, you know, here we go. We are here live every day for how many hours? Where is the Muslims? When a, yeah, Muslim, when a Muslim today he decided to call me to get me busted, he was smoked in the in the in, in the first thirty second. Did not take me even yeah, thirty seconds to get I him smoked. I didn't hear it all, but uh, I heard the end of it. Yeah. All right, my and friends, uh, it's time for me to go. I cannot stay longer. I have okay. to apologize. Thank you very much for calling, and thank you for the quotation you have for us from the Bible. Yes, of course. God thank bless you. you. Take care, my friend. All right, guys, it's time for me to, to go. And uh, I will try tomorrow to do a live broadcast too. As you see, I'm doing my best. Like in the last 15 hours, I have, no, what 15 hours? In the last 24 hours, I have 15 hours broadcast. <laughs> I mean, what I can do more? In the last 24 hours, I had 15 hours broadcast only can i do more you tell me it's me what is left is just to make some food to eat and to sleep a little bit and then i have to work in my books and then i have to answer emails and people they ask me questions and blah 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 it's it's crazy so as you see i'm doing my best now it's your duty to do your best you see we do not we should not have only one christian prince all of us we should be princes and warriors for the lord All of us. How beautiful it is going to be if now we have five or six hundred people watching, and all of them they decide to be to be a missionaries, to be warrior and warrior not for violence, warrior of love and the truth. We don't promote violence, and we are against violence. So, you have you have an opportunity. To serve your Lord and time will come my friend time go very fast yesterday I was a kid just yesterday I, yesterday I, I you know I remember myself playing in the street so time go extremely fast and time would come and your life would be taken from you and then they will you will be asked one day what you did in your life which what, what who are you what do you want to say I am a social security number I'm a person who own a house a car what you will do 
imagine you spend your life and you never bring one person to Christ so how you can call yourself a Christian and the Bible is very clear about that that they will be known from their fruits which mean you are required to bring a fruits otherwise you are a fake a Christian you have no fruits you have no Christ a person who have no fruit is the same as a Muslim who believe in a pagan God he kisses stones yes I joined the USA army before yeah anyway my friend thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and I hope today uh, we have enough uh, to uh, to prove our point uh, I advise you to cut my video the videos are long but let's say like there's many people by the way doing great job they are cutting my videos and like there's a channel it's called the Christian Prince debate and this guy he getting thousands and thousands of actually he getting more review than me you believe it so you can do the same let everybody see how Islam is in this ability you can cut only the debate if you wish because debate is a great example of the disability of Islam not Muslims Muslims are poor people you know we feel sorry for them I'm not against Muslims I don't hate them I will never hate them I am fighting the cult of Islam not a poor Muslim I am here to serve the Muslims to bring them to Christ to help them not to hate them so let us show the whole world how silly the idea and the religion and the cult of Islam and every debate we do is a life proof that Islam is literally stupid cult otherwise why Muslims cannot explain their cult why they cannot answer about their cult why they cannot defend their cult they defend their cult just by speaking to people who don't know nothing about Islam or don't even know about the Bible all right thank you my friend for being here may the Lord bless you and that they will see you soon again I leave you with the peace of the Lord he is the one who gave us peace he said with peace I leave you at my peace I give you and if the peace of the Lord with you there's no peace over that peace so may the may the Lord bless you with his peace and I hope that we will keep us keep us safe as we heard that there's an attack in France by a terrorist against Christian in the market buying things for Christmas be careful be vigilant vigilant and be be strong the devil he will try to scare you try to intimidate you never get or be intimidated we will not because if we are then the devil is a winner we are victorious by his name and no death can overcome us because we are people who been promised the eternal life they can kill the body but they cannot kill us for we'll be living forever with our Lord the Messiah and always after all the discrimination of Christianity and Christians the more discrimination we face the more victorious we come if you don't believe me go and read the stories of the early Christian fathers nobody was discriminated as them nobody suffer as them and nobody paid his life as they do they are our great example and from them we learn thank you very much Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that see you